Ooh, it gets real loose right there. I can see where people crash right there. Yep. Good morning, my fellow pedal pals and gals. We are at McKenzie Ranch Trails Park this morning. I'm going to be riding the trails called Lozen Loop or Lozen Link and the De Heste or De Hest Loop. I guess uh, it's supposed to be ridden in a clockwise manner only. So that's what we're going to do. And let's get started. It's about 6.45 a.m. in the morning. It's uh, a little bit of breeze approaching 80 degrees and I had a little technical difficulties with the GoPro camera this morning so getting started about 25 minutes 30 minutes late never been out here before all right so that's the losing link losing loop If you, if you can take the losing link if you just want to do the the Hestra or the Heste loop you can take the losing link and point four over to it if you want to skip the losing loop which is about six and a half miles That's a fun jump. Uh, so that first two miles was basically uphill for 89% of it. This downhill flow I got going on, it's pretty good. Ooh, it gets real loose right there. I can see where people crash right there, yep. <laughs> you can see where everybody wipes out right there. <laughs> Good to know the course. Yeah. Woo. Have to remember that for next time. <laughs> Woo. All right, so I'm coming up to the trailhead. I can see it up ahead. All right, so I'm at the trailhead here and I can go back to the truck by taking the losing loop back to the truck, probably like a half mile or so. And, or I could take the, the Teste loop, the Heste loop, however you say it. I think it's about 3.3 miles. So we're gonna take that and that'll lead pretty much right back to uh, the trailhead where we started. So, It'll end up back on the losing loop trail. And then that takes you right back to the... So end up right here, take the losing loop to the trailhead. We might do some of this trail and see how it is. The whole Hokum trail. Depending on how tired I am. Okay, here we go. On the Dehesti loop. I forgot to pause my watch on that little section there, but oh well. I think it auto paused to be honest. We'll say if you want to get a workout in, this course out here is pretty good. A lot of climbing. And also if you want to practice your high speed descents and quartering. This is a great place to do it you see picking up some speed here on the downhill so with these climbs you know you get to have a little bit of descent as well and some of it does go pretty fast So 
So if you want to practice some high speed corner, it's a great place to do it. It's not really a fun course. The uh, uphill section. The uphill sections are a little rough on me, but because of the injuries I'm nursing. But man, I gotta love these downhills. Freaking awesome. All right, should be getting really close to the Loza and Loop link up to go back to the trailhead to my truck. Feel pretty good. All right, I'm gonna eat a power bar. Let's get back to the truck. Take a 10 minute break. And see if I wanna do the Hohokam Trail. I won't probably do the whole thing because it's like three and a half miles. And three and a half miles back, that's seven miles. So, all right, so that's the Lowe's and Loop link up. So I'm back on the Lowe's and Loop right here. So this should take me back. Trying to get the watch and the picture frame, but then I got on a quick descent. So getting out of control. Oh, the desert smells good right now. See some of the flowers blooming on the cacti. I wanted to start at six o'clock. Uh, you can start riding at maybe like 5.45 in the morning. Still a little bit dark. But yeah, I want a little bit of sun to beat down on the trailhead or on the trail. So I had to make sure that the trail was dry enough to, to ride on. All right, take a little break here. <laughs> 